International marketing is the exchange of goods and services beyond national borders to meet the requirements of the customers. It includes customer analysis in foreign countries and identifying the target market. International marketing is defined as the performance of business activities designed to plan, price, promote, and direct the flow of companies' goods and services to consumers or users in more than one nation for a profit. The objective is to make profit by selling products or services in geographies which have a demand for them. In simple words, international marketing is trading of goods and services among different countries. The procedure for marketing, the planning and executing of price, promotion and distribution of products and services is the same except that it is executed worldwide. International marketing is the application of marketing principles in one or more than one country. It is possible for companies to conduct business in almost any country around the world thanks to the advances in information technology and communication technology. International marketing aims to achieve all the objectives of the business and establish a connection among the nations that participate in global trade. When it comes to marketing at international levels, one has to consider every minute detail and the complexities involved therein, such as the market, the culture, taxes, and government regulations. The following are the major participants in international marketing. Number one, multinational companies. Number two, exporters. Number three, importers. And number four, service companies. A multinational corporation or MNC is an organization that ensures the production of goods and services in one or more countries other than its home country. Such organizations have their offices, help desks, or industrial setup across nations and usually have a centralized head office where they coordinate global operations. Exporters These are the overseas sellers who sell products and provide services beyond their home country by following the necessary jurisdiction. They sell in different countries worldwide. Importers These are overseas buyers who buy products and services from exporters. They readily comply with trade jurisdiction. Import and export transactions help the economy. An import by one nation becomes an export from another nation. A service company generates revenue by trading on services and not on physical commodities. A transportation rental company is the best example of a service company. Revenue here is generated by transporting people and products in exchange for a fee. Many companies believe that their targets are limited if they only concentrate on a single market, and they see a lot of advantages in the global marketplace. To enrich their business presence, such companies are always on the lookout for better opportunities around the world. That ends today's lesson. Kindly visit our Google Classroom to access the activity. If you have any questions, just type them in the comment box. Thank you and have a nice day.